guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game playthrough. Today's game we're playing is Endogenesis, the solo mode of the game. We've previously already played the three-player mode, which is a competitive mode in the game, and now we're going to be showing you the solo mode for the gameplay. If you're interested in learning about the game and the setup and all that, you can check out our previous video. I'll have a link in the description for the three-player mode, as well as our previous review of the game. But we're going to go ahead and get into the solo mode, which we're playing the easy mode of the game game single one single player but you can play up to two in this cooperative variant to start off with of course you're going to have six cards in your hand I've got two starting abilities on the field and four of these crystals here which I'll use to either increase my health or I'll use to do uh, some upgrades to my abilities you can also use if you want to buy cards from the market as the game goes on but that's pretty much all you need to know as far as the setup goes because you can learn about that stuff in another video anyway let's go ahead and get into the game Endogenesis, the solo mode playthrough. So let's go ahead and start. And I've got my six cards in hand and I have my two abilities. I've got Spear of the Angar and I have Echo. This is a mythic and this is a mechanical ability. I've got three base health and four crystals. Before we get any farther, we're going to go ahead and use these crystals to either upgrade our health, which I'll do by discarding these two, increasing our max health by one and two. And when I hit my max health at five here, 10 and 15, I'll get to go through this deck and take a Realm of Wonders. So I'll be drawing two cards and I'm going to select one of them and I'm going to then discard the other. I got focus here, let's be grant and equipped basic skill true strike. Ooh, that's pretty useful. And then the other one is overdrive. All your skills are upgraded to their maximum level for just this turn. I'm gonna actually keep the one that gives true strike because I think that's gonna be the most useful. It goes to my hand, but it doesn't count towards my max hand uh, total. And now I'm going to begin by taking uh, these last two things here and placing them on something. I think I'm gonna go with, hmm, the echo card and I'll upgrade this skill by two, which means the cost of the card is gonna be two instead of three, which it normally would be. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this deck here, which is the Realm of Chaos, and I'm going to flip it into the discard pile, which is basically the pile where you're actually gonna be dealing with the monsters. In order for me to win this game, I have to empty this deck before I die or before the Realm of Knowledge deck empties. So let's go ahead and begin. I'll flip this one over, and we've got a Patam Noir, which is basically got three HP, and it has an initiative action, which does one damage to all players, so I instantly take a damage. Additionally, I have got an active, which says that uh, every turn is going to, what does it say here? Uh, escapes, monster is discarded. So if I can't kill him, then he's just simply going to disappear. And I definitely want to kill him right now because that's going to give me two crystals, which let me upgrade my health and or my abilities. Now, right now I've got my spear, which does two damage and marks the target with a bonus damage if it is marked. And I'll be able to also draw a card, which is actually fairly useful here. I've got a hyperdrive in my hand. This will give me additional currency based on my skills. I've got a titan's heart, which gives me one uh, energy, which I can use to spend on my skills or four if I only have two or less cards in hand. A genesis shard, which lets me gain two. And I can discard up to two cards and draw an equal number of cards from the realm of knowledge. And then I've got some abilities, which I don't think I actually want to use right now. So we'll start by discarding this card and gaining two, which I get this two currency here. I'm then going to spend it and allow my next skill to activate twice. And then I'm going to also discard cards from my hand that I don't want. And I'll discard a, a cosmic and an organic skill. And then I'll draw cards equal to what I discarded. I've got a nanobots card and then I got demon blood, which gives me two plus two HP, which is actually fairly useful. I will, hmm, is there any abilities I actually want to use right now? I've got an ultimate. I've got two ultimates I actually can't use right now. Ultimates are very strong abilities that I can only play if I have all of my skill slots filled and I don't have that, I need one more to do that. So I think I will play, this is Demon Blood, it'll give me two health, and additionally it will also let me gain two currency, and if I have the currency and I can spend it, I must, but I currently can't, I need to go ahead and do it one more time, and so I'm going to then use, hmm, what do I wanna do? I'll get rid of this one here, which will give me three, and now I'll spend three, to utilize the Spear of Onhern, which will deal two damage to this target. And I'll mark him. 
And then I can use this ability again because I used Echo. So I still have to go ahead and discard another card and I will discard a hyperdrive for one and then I'll spend all three of these, thusly triggering Sphere of Anhern again, hitting him for two. He will die. And additionally, because he was marked, I get to deal a bonus damage, which doesn't matter, but I also get to draw a card, which is actually very good. And I got a Voltaic skill. Okay, so he is now passed on. This is going to be dead. I'm gonna get to take two of these little crystals here and then I can go ahead and put them on whatever I want. And I'll actually place them on my Echo. Uh, so I gotta be careful, I don't wanna pass. I don't wanna die, because if I die, I'm out of the game. But this will let me use this Echo ability for one, as opposed to two now, which is actually really good. And then a new card is going to be coming out. This is a Voidling, and it says, as an active, uh, I'll draw a card from the top of the deck, and based on the cost of that card, it will then do damage to me, or nothing which is fine. It's gonna have three HP, so I put the HP back to three, and I can keep playing if I want. But unfortunately, I don't think I have anything I really want to play. This one does two damage to two enemies, and I can gain a Voltaic, and I don't think I wanna do that, so I think I'll actually let it do whatever it's going to do. So I'm gonna end my turn, and when I end my turn, the active ability of all monsters is gonna trigger one at a time, but I only have one monster out right now, so it's just gonna trigger that ability. I'll flip over this card, and this has got two. So it's got more than one, which means it's going to do one damage to all players, meaning I'm gonna go from five to four HP. And it's triggered, so now it's my turn. At the beginning of my turn, I simply draw two cards from the Realm of Knowledge deck, and I will keep going. I got an Epsilar, which is a pretty sweet augment. It says that I deal no base damage, but I get times two on the bonus damage instead of us with a skill. And the skills cost one less to, to, to uh, the skill costs one less energy. Hmm, I think I'm gonna keep this. I don't think I'm gonna actually use it. Now I got an ultimate, which I also don't really want to use, nor can I use even if I wanted to. These will untap or they will unexhaust, and I've got to deal with this guy. He'll give me a reward of one, but it's going to cost me one to trigger this, and then it's gonna cost me three and then three more for this one. So that's gonna be seven total. So I will spend three, two, and two. I think that's right. No, it'll cost me, actually it only cost me, yeah, it'll cost me seven, which is uh, three, two, and two. So that's going to trigger this for one, leaving six left over. I use my spear, I'll hit him for two, I'll mark him, and then he will pass on. And when he passes on, I get one of these guys here. And because he was marked, I will also get to draw a card from the Realm of Knowledge deck. It's a nice little uh, combo here with my Echo card. And then, then I'm gonna go ahead and place out a new monster. Uh, Age of Wisdom, all players draw a card. So I'll draw a card here. This will go into the discard pile. A new card will come out and that is a Quarklings. This one says that it's active. It deals damage to all players equal to the charge counters on it and then it discharges all of them, and it's reaction whenever I hit it once each turn, it will gain one charge for each damage dealt, and it's got a total of eight HP. So he's a little bit stronger, a little bit bigger. Um, and luckily, I don't really have to deal with that card on this next turn here, because it won't hurt me. So I'm actually going to pass my turn. When I pass, the active triggers, he does no damage to me because he has no charge counters, and then I'm going to start my turn by drawing two cards, turning these over, and then I will... Hmm, do I want to give myself bonus HP or should I save this? I think I'll actually just save this for right now. Okay, so he's got eight HP. How can I deal with it? I can, I can do two damage to him and mark him and then I can do three damage, which is five, which is not enough to take him out. And I've got some abilities I can use. Hmm. Some of these are okay, but they're pretty expensive to use. I think I actually will spend this to give myself another max HP. And I think I'll actually just go ahead and hit him for two by discarding a card that costs three. Like that. And then he's going to gain two charge counters, which are over here, and I'll put them on Quarklings. And I'm going to then end my turn. The maximum amount of cards I can have in my hand is seven, and I have six, so that's good. So he's gonna activate. Basically what happens is these are going to trigger off. I'm gonna take two damage. 
and now he's removed all of them. So that that happens. And I get to draw two cards to begin my turn. I'm hoping to get something useful here. Ah, Staff of Wukong. Nice. That is for three. I can do two damage and mark a target and a mark bonus. This skill can be used again and target's mark expires. Ooh, that's actually pretty dang useful. I wish I would have saved my... I wish I would have saved my thing, but I actually need to take this monster out now because otherwise it's going to be very difficult to deal with. So I can do... Hmm, I'll do my Echo, which will cost me one. So I'll use this card and I have two left over. And then I will go ahead and discard this mechanical ability, which will give me one. Now it says the next active skill I use can be used again this turn, or twice this turn. So that means, hmm, maybe I want to save this one first. And then I will, I'll use the staff first, which will do two damage to this target, one and two, and mark him. And then I'll spend the one so that I can echo. And then I can spend three turn that over. That's going to do two damage to him plus one. One, two, three. Letting me draw a card. And then I can spend three more to do it one more time and defeat him, which will also let me draw another card. Very, very useful. I'm, I'm liking the mythic cards right now. This guy is done. He's going to give me two of these crystals here. I'll also get to draw two cards from this deck here. And I'm going to start flipping a new monster out. Oh, there's a new one right there. He's got four HP. Uh, initiative stuns the player drawing this immediately and ends their turn. Oh no. Okay. So my turn is now over. I've got six cards in hand. He's going to do his active now, which does one damage to all players and he heals one health. And now I have to go and I'm gonna draw two cards. And I actually need to get some health going on here. And I don't think I see anything that's benefiting me for health. But I will actually put this focus on my spear, which will basically ignore reactions whenever I attack somebody with that card, which I probably should have done earlier. Hmm. This one's nice. It makes the skill cost one more, but if I kill a monster with the skill, I will get to draw a card. And then this one here, Augment requires two to play, but the skill will cost one less. So I will attach this to this. So I can only have one Augment per skill. It's going to cost me two to play this card. So I will discard something for two. And now this skill costs one less, so it'll only cost me two. These are all untapped. And I'm gonna go ahead and deal with that monster, I think. My only problem is I don't, I don't have a lot of HP, so I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and increase my health by two more, one, two, one, two, just in case something comes out that I cannot deal with soon enough. I'll spend my one here, let go ahead and turn this guy over so my next skill can be activated twice, and then I have to spend four, and I've got one and three, which is four, and I can use the spear twice. That's going to let me do two damage to him, and then it's going to let me mark him and do two, two damage plus one, which will just defeat him, let me, letting me draw a card. And then I'm gonna go ahead and gain one crystal. I'll go ahead and put this right over here. And then a new monster is gonna come out. Initiative, the player drawing this discards a card from hand. Okay, not so bad. Well, it actually is not so good, <laughs> but uh, I will discard this card here. And it's active says that it deals two damage to all players and it gets one charge counter for each player successfully damaged. Okay, that's not too painful. And I got, what else can I do to him? He's also got seven HP. So he's a little bit more challenging now than a couple of the other ones. I've got, I got three and two I can use, but I'm kind of trying to keep this Glyph of Ascension because if I can keep this Glyph of Ascension, I will be able to get myself a Deity card, which is from this class's deck. And the Deity card for this one specifically is very nice. I actually think I'm just gonna, in my turn, after maybe, I'll put this on here, I suppose, and I'll let him do his active. So he's gonna go ahead and do uh, two damage to all players and he's gonna gain one charge counter. And so he'll, I'll tick down to two. And then I'm gonna go ahead and draw cards. All right. 
now. I have a problem because I only have two health left and it's gonna deal damage to all players equal to the charge counters on them, which will put me in one HP. I need a skill that's gonna let me gain health because I'm in trouble right now. So I think even if I did seven to him, I'm nervous, very nervous. So I'll spend three here, just give me these three. Turn this over. Actually, I won't turn that over yet. I will just simply do the staff, which targets him, doing two damage. Removing these. And then I will spend, this is gonna cost two, four, and five. So I have to spend two. Oh no, I have to lose my glyph. Okay, well, hopefully I'll get it back again. So that is one. Let me activate this twice, which is gonna cost two and two more, which is four, totaling five. So I will hit this guy for three, one, two, three, and because he's marked, I'll draw a card, and then I'm gonna do that one more time, thusly slaying him, and yet again, drawing another card. It does one damage to me, because it is slain when it explodes here, and then a new monster is going to come out. Hopefully it's not so scary. Active, does one damage to all players, it deals one damage for each charge counter on it, and a reaction, it gains shields, and if at least one damage was dealt, uh, then he's going to gain one charge counter. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is really useful, but I can't. Oh, I can, it's an ultimate. So I can put this glyph into play. And that's uh, a mythic. I can't use it right now though, but I can gain one and draw a card. I can gain two more, discarding a card. I'm looking for someone to heal me. And what do I got here? Oh, additionally, I slayed this guy. So I slayed that guy, right? That gives me uh, two of those crystals, and I get to also draw a card. I forgot about that. I can buy stuff from here. Now, to buy stuff from here, it's going to cost me one because there's only one monster in play currently. And I'm gonna take the demon blood, I think. So I'm gonna actually get rid of that one that I got from slaying the previous monster to get demon blood. And when that happens, uh, my trusty sidekick grant, do I discard all of these or just put a new one out? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put a new one out here. And I'm definitely gonna play this as well, I think. Now, can I play this grant actually? Because I don't. I mean, it's gonna give me currency that I don't actually need. don't have an ability I can spend it on. Spend one, gives me a max HP. Okay, I'm gonna have to end my turn here. <laughs> Which is good though, because at least I got my max HP by one, because it's gonna go ahead and do one damage to me. So I'll take one damage from the Rifflings. It explode. it does damage based on the charge counters, but there are none because I haven't, done, haven't given it any reactions. And then it's my turn again, and I'm gonna go to draw two cards. This all fizzles, unfortunately. Okay, I'm gonna turn these over. All right, so now I've got I've got some decent stuff out here now at least. All right, so I will do demon blood. That's a fact. Because I'm gonna go ahead and need to gain two health, one and two, and I'll also uh, get two of these guys here. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Uh, that's gonna let me. I need one more. Let's let me draw a card and gain one. That's for three. Now this thing says each time you use a basic skill this turn, draw a card and restore a health. So I will spend one more, which is going to be four. Okay, so this will turn. And it says now each time I do a basic skill, I'm going to get to draw a card and restore health. So I will spend one, use this echo, which lets me heal one HP and draw a new card. And then my next skill I use, ooh, nice, Demon Blood. That's gonna give me these two here and two more health. And I still need one more. So that way I can, this guy's at four health. That way I can use this spell twice. And that is going to then hit this guy for 
two damage and mark him. Now he gets uh, two shields, but I have true strike, and that means that I ignore reactions from the monsters with skills that have, have true strike. So he's simply going to take the two damage, and then I can use the ability again. After he's marked, I'll draw a card and I'll do the bonus damage to him, and that's going to basically send him into a frenzy. I'll also gain a health for using this ability twice, which is very nice. And new monster is then going to come out after I draw a card and get another one of these, which I'm actually going to go ahead and put on this, so that way I get a little stronger here. New monster pops out. That is a Lamia. That's an interesting mythical folklore character here. It's a monster. It has 6 HP. And what's it say here? It says it's active. It does 1 damage to all players, and players with 50% or less health are dealt 2. And then it's got a death cry. It does damage to the Slayer equal to their missing HP. So you want to take this guy out when you have full health or as close to full health as possible. And it's not, not too foreboding for me right now, which is nice. Especially because I can't actually kill it. And I don't think I need any of these. So I think I'm actually just going to go ahead and end my turn here. And that will trigger him. He's going to do one damage to all players. Boop. And like it said, uh, players with... 50% 50 less health are dealt to. So I had actually more than 50% health, which is good. And then it's my turn. I'll draw two cards. This is getting too close for comfort, Grant. Far too close for comfort. Seems like you're doing alright. Yeah. I don't want to lose this skill. I like the Echo skill. It's very useful, but I might have to. Regardless, Hyperdrive, that's going to give me one plus the number of a specific type of special I have. So that's going to give me an extra three, which gives me four. I'll use this Wisdom, which will let me, each time I use a basic skill, I'll draw a card and gain a life. It's not so bad, right? And I will spend, hmm, two. Or I'll use two to get one, spend one to double a skill. I'll discard this one for two more to give me this. So I've gained one HP for using this skill, and I'm going to go ahead and use this skill, which is going to cost me my three. And that says I do do three damage now. That only costs two because you have the minus one. Oh, that's one. true. Okay, well, I'm sorry. It was one for this and two for this, so that's, that's how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and do three damage, one, two, and three. And I'll gain a health. Now, unfortunately, I've got demon blood in my hand, and I actually don't want to... I don't want to hit him. So I'm actually going to stop and let him attack. So he's going to do one damage to me again. No problem. And I'm going to come back alive. Eventually, this is going to start getting worrisome, because I'm going to have to deal with some legendary monsters. And I'm not going to like that so much. So he's only got three health right now. So I think I can simply spend these two cards here, turn this to the side, it will do three damage to him and simply destroy him. And he's going to net me two of these crystals here, and I'll also get to draw a card, and a new monster is going to come out. Uh-oh, what's this guy do? He's a three HP monster, he's small, and as active as he does one damage to all players, and he does one damage, one bonus damage to all players with 50% or more HP. Oh wow, he's the exact opposite of something I want to deal with right now. Hmm. And he's got three HP. I actually can't deal with him unless I put one on here. I also put the other one on here, I think. So then I'm gonna spend this for three. He does three damage and marks a target, but it's only got three health, so he simply will pass on and he'll give me one of these guys here. A new monster comes out. Oh, that's a distortion. And all initiative and uh, death cry skills have their costs reduced by zero. So any skill that I get that has initiative or death cry is going to reduce, it's going to be nothing to play them. That's really nice. But when a legendary monster dies, that's going to end. So we'll leave that there for now. A chimera. Okay, another monster. No big deal. He's got five HP. He's got initiative that does one damage to all players. And then on his active, he does two damage to all players and itself and then death death cry does four damage to the player who slayed him uh oh i think i think i'm gonna have to end my turn because my two abilities that i need are out so he's gonna go ahead and do two damage to me one and two putting me to five and then it's my turn now i have to be careful now because i need to actually stay above my hp threshold so these are going to be turned over i've drawn my new two new cards i got some voltaic 
skills that I don't need, but they're going to give me some good currency. That's three plus two is five. I've also got two demon blood still. And I actually think I'm going to actually use some demon blood. So that's going to gain me two health and I'm going to get two of these guys. And I'm going to spend one of them. Actually, I'm not going to yet. I'm going to then do demon blood again, which will give me two more and two more health. I'm going to spend three, now that I have enough, to do three damage and mark this guy. One, two, and three. And then I'm going to spend one to trigger this. Then I'm going to spend two to use this ability, and I'll be able to use it again, which will kill this guy, which is nice, and let me draw a card. I'll also get two of these guys here, and I will get to draw a card. I still have one more time I can use this, and let's go ahead and see what the next monster is. It's a legendary monster. Uh, okay, now we're in trouble here. The legendary monster, the first time you kill it, uh, basically what's gonna happen is obviously this will go away, and also new monsters are gonna start popping out. They'll have to deal with more than one at a time. This is going to draw a card and deal damage to all players equal to the discarded value of the card. And then it's also got a death cry that says, uh, sets, players, uh, sets players current health to one. Oh no, and has true strike. <sighs> Did you resolve the last death cry? Oh, four damage to myself. I didn't. Good good call. Good call. Okay, he's got seven HP. He doesn't have a reaction, so I am gonna do that next ability, which is gonna cost me two to do this on this guy. Which will do three damage to him plus two. One actually just three damage. One, two, and three, because he's not marked. Ah, oh, so I don't get to draw my card. That makes me sad. And I think that's it for me. I think I think that's all I can do right now. And so he's going to do his active, does damage uh, based on this. So we'll flip one of these over. So that's enough. Does the base value of whatever the card says? And this one is actually a artifact. So, so read what it says. A gain one. That's how. That's the value. Okay, so I'll take one damage from it. It's not so bad. Not so bad at all. We're still okay. And draw two. We're actually running out of cards here, so I have to be careful. I can't keep. I have to start killing these guys a little faster. Oh, this is a new one. But I don't actually have the card to give me a class skill, so I think I'm going to save this right now, because this is too useful. All right. And I'm also, I also need to go ahead and I will spend one crystal to increase my max health by one, which will let me draw two of these wonder cards. Draw cards until you have four in hand. Instantly destroy a monster and receive its rewards, but not any... Oh, we're taking... We're going to take this one to destroy a monster. And this clarity is going to go away. Even though drawing four cards, if you have no cards in hand, is actually really nice. But killing a monster outright is better. Especially when the monster is going to do something nasty to you. And with this guy here, it's dangerous. Because if he reduces my health to one, and I get a reactionary monster that hits me for one, I don't have any skills that I can defend myself with. Well, maybe I do. Maybe I do. I think that's. I think this is the play here. So I'm actually going to take this back into my hand. I'm going to play this, which I'm just going to show you guys. It's called Trek's uh, Trek of McCoddle. I'll gain two defense, and if the skill manages to negate the damage, I get to draw a card. And it actually will block five damage and only costs two. So that's actually really useful right now. Hmm, he's got four health. I think now would be the time to kill him, if any. And I don't want to gain health right now because he's going to put my health to one regardless. So you I, won't be able to block the initiative, though, for the monster, because you just play that skill. I won't. Oh, that's, that's true. I won't. I might have to wait another turn. <sighs> I will wait another turn. So I'm going to let the monster attack me. So it's going to do one damage. Oof. Okay, not so bad. And then I get to take my next turn. Now, I'm actually running out this deck, which is... You, you would think it'd be a good thing to uh, end your turn as much as possible, but running out of this deck here is another way to lose the game. And I did not get the card I wanted. Well, the card I want is the Glyph to get me that class card. So we'll have to see what I can do here. But I will... I will use the Staff I built? No, I don't think so. I think I'm actually just going to go ahead and use my Spear. I'll discard this one here. I'll, I'll turn my this guy over here, and it's going to do three damage to this guy. Hmm. Actually, it's not going to be enough because it's got four health. So I will, I'll do this one instead. I will do three damage to this guy. One, two, three, and mark it. 
and then I'm gonna have to spend two more. So I use this mechanical skill here for two, and that will destroy this guy. It will deal three damage plus two, and I'll get to draw a card for it. And basically, his death cry is gonna trigger. It's gonna go put me down to one. I'm gonna get to take one of these tokens here, which is normally a victory point in the game, but in this case, it's actually one true strike damage, or it's additional points that you can uh, check to see how well you did at the end of the game, which is actually pretty useful as well. Um, and then I also get two of these little things here. I didn't use them already, or did I? Did I draw these already, Grant? Uh, you did not draw them. I did not, okay. And then I get to draw a card. All right, so he's died. he died, unfortunately. So this is gonna go here. A new monster is gonna come out here, which is another legendary, and another monster is gonna come out over here, which is another legendary. So he's gonna go to eight HP, and he is going to go to 10 HP. And he has initiative, th which does three damage to all players with more than eight life. Luckily, I don't have more than eight life right now. I only have one, so he does not kill me, which if it said it did one damage to me, I would be dead right now. And then I've got this Crow Varanus, which has got a active ability that's two damage to all players and a death cry, which restores all players HP to full. Well, that's amazing. I want to destroy that. And then this one over here is active and does two damage to all players and restores one for each player damaged. <sighs> okay, I need, I need to get some health going on here, unfortunately. I don't... I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess I will... He just, he restored, okay, he just, he just does two damage, but this guy here does two damage as well. I'm actually going to play my smite on this monster. It's going to remove the monster. Uh, another one will come out of its place and I don't get any rewards for it. Oh, you just not get the victory reward? Victory point reward? Yeah. So you still get the crystals and the drawer parts. Oh, is that what it says? Oh yeah, okay. So that's actually really good. It'll give me three crystals and it'll give me one card. So three crystals and I'll get to draw a card from it. And we're gonna trigger out new stuff. So this is a reckoning. Starting from the top, search the realm of chaos for a legendary monster and put it into play. It gains three HP. All right. Nope, that's a regular monster. There's a legendary. And then this deck shuffles. Fiordic Yatu. It's got initiative. It does two damage to all players and has true strike. Oh no. I can't block that damage. Nope. I have nothing to... I only had one... Ha I had all these. Could I s have spent these? Uh, you could have spent them before you smited. Uh, I could... Uh, man, I got all this extra HP, and I didn't think about doing that. Ah, uh, I got... So it's going to go ahead and just do the two damage to me. If I was smarter, I could have spent these to give myself bonus HP, which would cost me two for each one of these that, that comes out. And I would have stayed alive that way. But I goofed. I goofed, I goofed. Dang it. So I actually just lost the game. It was pretty close though. The end of the game, there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 cards in this deck here. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17, 18 cards out. So I was about halfway and I was running out of cards here as well. So as you can see, it's pretty challenging when it comes to the single player mode of the game. I also didn't use this as much as I probably should have, this market here, which will allow you to get certain things out of it. I was looking for one more card, which I actually played a while ago, and it's probably somewhere in the deck here as well. Uh, let's see if I can find one. Oh no. Oh yeah, there is one. Glyph of, this, of, of Ascension right here. This would have let me get out my deity. I think it's literally just called Deity, which is a class card, this guy here. And it says basically that I can take an extra turn after the current one ends. So it's a bonus turn when, it, when I get it. And as a passive, I can discard a card to refresh an exhausted non-ultimate skill every turn, which would have done pretty well. Uh, the game actually gets pretty it gets a lot faster too as the game goes along because every time you defeat a legendary monster another slot will open up up to three and you'll start to having to deal with multiple slots of multiple monsters so the game kind of triggers a pretty speedy uh sense of urgency at the end there 
I thought I was gonna, I thought I was gonna do pretty well after I got past the first hump, but I just, ah, goof. Yeah, just a quick note, you should have actually, uh, you died before it happened, but another legendary monster came out because he smited the second one. Oh, yeah, and I smited a second monster. It didn't matter, though, because I was already dead before even another one came out, but technically, because I smited that other monster, another one would have come out, and it would have been, oh, that one right there, and that would have been challenging. It has a mercy rule, though. If I have less than 10 max HP, which I had exactly 10, it would have left and a new one would have come into play, but oh well. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough of uh, Endogenesis uh, Beyond, the expansion for the game Endogenesis. I really like this game. It's got a lot of challenging concepts in it, this, in the solo player, and even the cooperative mode of the game. I played this on easy mode, so as you can see, there's you gotta make the right choices. I obviously did not make the right choices in a lot of little areas, and you learn as you progress throughout the game. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this playthrough and you wanna see the three player mode, go ahead and check out the link in the description below. If you wanna pick up the game, that'll also be down there as well. And if you'd like to see my review, I'll have that as well. Thank you so much for watching, and Grant in the background for giving me any tips and tricks as we went along here. Some, sometimes I forget certain rules and he's there to watch me. Thank you. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video where we try and defeat the monsters in the cosmos. Next time.